Welcome to the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List channel. I am Hannibal the Beat Animal. I am Live Action Animation, and this is our WrestleMania recap. <laughs> like it's 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 funny because it's dumb, but we 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 own it. We own it every time. <laughs> Man. Just, we just keep going. Like, listen, like, listen, y'all better start, y'all, y'all better start dealing with, uh, rocking with us now, okay? Because the train is leaving the station, okay? Pe people are hitting us up to feature on other things now, okay? Y'all better listen. Try to tell y'all, also the Comic Movie List channel, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so uh, uh, on Saturday morning we did our WrestleMania predictions, and today we're gonna see. What stuff we got right and what stuff I got wrong. <laughs> Overall, what did you feel? How did you feel about WrestleMania 40 when the dust settled and the smoke cleared? Yeah, as a whole, overall, I thought it was a great, great WrestleMania expanding over two nights. You had way more solid matches than you had matches that may not have needed to be in the whole WrestleMania lineup, but they they ended off with a bang. If, if you were like night one, you were kind of like, oh, you know, that was okay. You know, hopefully night two is better. Man, night two delivered. So as a whole, re this WrestleMania was probably one of the big, like in terms of just a whole, it was, it was pretty big and pretty outstanding so yeah. they kudos to them they really pulled it off it's yeah. ushering this new era you know and everybody gave so much maybe not as much as seth rollins did because he had a, <laughs> a really unlucky wrestlemania man seth but, you know <laughs> Golly, man. All Seth Rollins did with this weekend was lose, 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 no matter what. That's man. all he did was just and take just L after L. L. That man is a consummate professional. He came yeah. out there. He did the work. You know, he sold the moves. He sold yes. the storylines. It was... He sacrificed himself so that there were other stories that could be told. You know what yeah. I mean? Like it, so that said a lot to him just as a professional wrestler in in as a whole you know uh -huh. how did you like it uh I, yeah i enjoyed it I, this wrestlemania was probably one of the better if not probably the best wrestlemania they had in the last four or five years like yeah. the last couple of years have been kind of not dry but th this was a really really good wrestlemania um mm -hmm. my favorite matches from last year were probably better than my favorite matches from this year yeah. but the 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 average like the quality of matches this year i feel like was just overall better the main event i, I think it paid off i think it everything that people wanted it to be or like they had enough twists and turns and the surprises and it was uh, i will it, say but i love the fact as, as far as the the main event the last event is that they let them wrestle for a while yes yes they did before anything else happened and i yes. think that is why it was such a good match. It wasn't yeah. just fluff the whole match. It was like, no, y'all are going to get out there. Y'all are going to work. Mm -hmm. Y'all are going to fight it out. And then we'll have our, you know, grand finale. But I really, really love that. That yeah. aspect of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I also, um, I, I did think it was interesting that the main event on night two wasn't as long as the main event on night one. Mm -hmm. Like that night one main event was close to an hour. Yeah. And then the, the night two well, I mean, main you event. you know, 25 minutes of that was interesting. But you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> said, at least 10 minutes of that was just Roman walking to the ring. So right. it was just. Right. <laughs> well, Listen, it just that... seems like they just got to it tonight. Either they were tired, maybe certain, um, aspects of it they had to tweak a little bit you know we don't know kind of what happened to make it so short and maybe yeah. night two was just supposed to be a shorter night because i felt like it was shorter i was like man this feel like it ended quick you know yeah, you, you know what you know what it is i think that like after uh after the main event ended, they wanted to give uh, Cody a certain amount of time to be able to like celebrate with the crowd and like the people that he wanted to celebrate with. And it was, and like I said, we're gonna definitely get into it, but let's let's go through the matches 
and then let's let's go through and see all right. what all we got right and what all we got wrong. I want to I want to I want to make sure that we give Roman Reigns uh-huh. his flowers. Yeah. For you know he he's gonna go down as one of the goats. He, oh, he for really sure. is. For uh, sure. He. You know, they wanted him to go a certain way and they pushed it and pushed it and pushed it to the point of just annoyance. You know, people were not <laughs> loving it. He was going out there getting booed every night. Not even The Rock could help him get over, uh-huh. you know, and then he goes out for leukemia, comes back and literally puts the whole organization through a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Okay. On his back. That, that is a live entertainment business. Yeah. So they thrive only on live entertainment. Yeah. Right? Put it on his back. They created this story, he and Paul Heyman and whoever else the creative team for this was, and carried that company. Yeah. Almost as, if not better, than John Cena did. Yeah. For three John, to four solid years. John Cena. John, John, John Cena. Okay. <laughs> And that just says a lot. And I think we were a lot of people and I at myself got lost in the, oh my God, Cody did it, Cody did it. But I saw this video of him and Paul Heyman hugging at the top of the ramp mm-hmm. while everybody is celebrating Cody. And it just seemed, you know, it made me like, oh man, that is the end of, like the end of his era. In yeah. Sense, yeah. You know, and I wonder how he must, be feeling is he relieved is he sad you know that is a sad moment you know he oh, was I, a long I, time that's bittersweet uh uh for them but yeah like for roman reigns to be like to come into the company as as a member of the shield right like like when he like properly got like presented to the company as a member of the shield um one of the most popular most dominant factions yeah. in in uh, WWE history, arguably wrestling history, right? Yeah. Like we're yeah. talking about up there with like the four horsemen type shit. And for them to be so over and then for him to be a solo wrestler and then people be like, nah, this ain't it. We don't like this, right? We, we like Dean and Seth. Yeah. We don't like Roman. Yeah. It was, it was because it was obvious the WWE was trying to like push him to the front of the line I mean, and 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 fans saw that and rejected it. It was like, no, mm-hmm. don't tell us who we like. We'll let you know who we like. Right. You know, and I've and always I already said it before he even did that heel change. I, I remember being at, at the job one day and I was like, you know what would be great for him? I was like, I don't know how long Paul Heyman is gonna be with Brock Lesnar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I said, if he not good on the mic, give him to Paul. Yeah. Give him to Paul turn him heel yeah. and let him run through the entire I, locker room. I, 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 can, con- I, I can confirm this. I remember us having this conversation about Roman some years ago and you saying that they needed to, to do an about face and go heel. Let him lean into the booze and the hate and the angst. Yep. Get somebody to work the mic for him. Paul? Him. Yeah. yeah. By golly, I should be a right. WWE. <laughs> Listen, like, why, why can't you, if Freddie Prince Jr. can be a writer for the WWE, why can't live action animation? You know what I'm saying? That man was Sco- in Scooby-Doo, okay? You could definitely. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> hilarious. But yeah, no, I was like, yeah, they need to do that. I'm sure me and a million other WWE Universe, you know, members have said that. But yeah, wow. and it worked. It absolutely yeah, worked. It definitely worked. Well, look, let's go through these matches and yeah. let's see what all we got right and what all I got wrong. Um... <laughs> Uh, first, the first match, uh, night one, Rhea Ripley defeats Becky Lynch by pinfall. We both saw that coming. We got that one. Yep. Yeah. Because one. Rhea's super over. And uh, yeah. to, to your point, uh, 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 WWE fans weren't as excited at the idea of Becky they Lynch weren't. winning the winning the belt. But drop one of the clues bombs for them because they put on a fantastic, yeah, a fantastic a opening winner. match. What a solid opener. Yeah, yeah. They came in, they set the tone, they brought the energy, uh, mm-hmm. you know, and mommy brought home the belt. You yeah. know what I mean? And again, like you said, just reiterating, the fans just were not on Becky's side the way they yeah. should have. So, yeah. Of course, not, Rhea not, not, not going into WrestleMania, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, not going into WrestleMania. While they are on her side in certain aspects, they just weren't with her as far as, you know, it's a mommy's world. The uh, next match was the six-pack tag team ladder match. 
for the undisputed WWE Tag Team uh, Championship, uh, and it was A Town Down Under versus uh, uh, Awesome Truth versus The Judgment Day versus DIY versus The New Day versus New Cats Republic. Um, and I, I this was one of my favorite matches yeah. of, of so wrestling. Yeah, it was it was such a good match. It was a lot of great tag teams. I definitely would wish to I, I would have loved to have seen the new day be a little more involved. Yeah. Um yeah. But yeah, it was such a good match. I had initially predicted that the judgment day was going to retain. However, I, like I, I, and, and I, I was wrong. I was wrong. But I want to put an asterisk next to it, okay? Because I thought they were defending one set of belts, not <laughs> both sets of belts. So it was halfway through the match before I understood what was going on. It was like when yeah. when uh, uh, Austin Theory and uh, 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 Grayson Waller grabbed the SmackDown belt. And it was, and then Samantha Irvin is like, all right, so now they're the SmackDown champions. Now who's gonna be the Raw champions? I was like, oh, is that how this works? Okay, cool. Okay, I, I didn't know. I didn't that that was not made clear to me before. Yeah, I, yeah, match, it, no. it definitely didn't know, and and I didn't know going into it that they were gonna split the belts. Maybe that was supposed to be a surprise aspect of it, you know. And then that way you split the belts that way, so it worked out because you're splitting the belts. So I'll yeah. take. It. But um, I remember being like the obvious choice would be the judgment day but i wanted it one time for the one time baby awesome truth took yes. on the bell i'm so that excited was, it was very... had his moment he had his wrestlemania moment and the yeah. whole crowd just went wild it was great it was great it was it was it was a, a fun match one of my favorite matches of the night or uh, of wrestlemania for sure uh the next match was a uh six-man tag match no i'm sorry it was a tag team match uh, the, the, the Latino World Order, uh, represented by Rey Mysterio and Andrade versus Santos Escobar and Dirty Dom. And yes. this is another match I got wrong. Damn. This is the only match I got wrong of the night, baby. I'm just, you know, spoiler alert. But <laughs> I, I decided to go along with you instead of siding with the side of good, the righteous. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I, was, I was very, I was caught off guard uh cameo like it you know so that was a thing and i guess they're in philadelphia so you include the eagles somehow they might have been partnering with them but uh they didn't need the eagles to come out in the end they could have had a really good finale match because that match was going really well yeah i actually like like when we do our like at the very end we do our list of awards or, or whatever i, I don't know how, the, how we do best and worst of wrestlemania this th this match is on that list for for that exact reason for that that for the the eagles interference <laughs> they, they don't they don't say eagles in philadelphia they call them the eagles i g g l e s eagles uh, Jay Uso versus Jimmy Uso. I've been calling this the Bloodline Civil War match. That's not the official title, but I've been calling it the Bloodline Civil uh, War match. And I think we both got this one right. We both called main event Jay Uso winning this match. And... Yeah, but I was very disappointed in the match as a whole for yeah. two people that I have seen before give insane performances in the ring. This seemed thrown together. This mm -hmm. seemed like an afterthought. And even for them, it was like, oh, we got to put a match together for us. All right, well, you know, we'll, we'll we'll throw some kicks in there. We'll throw some, you know, it it, it just fell short. Yeah, me. and and l lest we forget, Little Wayne. Matter of fact, you know what? I I'm glad. You know what? I, Why? I, I'm, I'm I'm changing one of my Why? answers. Yeah, I'm changing one of my answers now. Why would you even have him come out? And then you have him come out. Well, first off, he said on. Smackdown that he or Raw that he was gonna release a new song. Why not perform that song if you even released a new song for WrestleMania? Why come out and do a Millie? And you didn't, it's not even like you changed a Millie to like, you know, represent the Yeet Nation or anything like that. Like you just, and then you, and then you just tromped around saying, yeah, it, it's your time. It's your time. <laughs> Yeah, that was. It's on you. It's on you. It's on you. It was. Yeah, it was. It was. Uh, just be uh, a caddy. If you're gonna come out, just be a caddy. You ain't even gotta sing. Just walk out with it. Just yeah. walk out with him and just dance and just go to the side of the ring. Like you didn't even have to. No, I think it would have been. What would I think would have been real dope is if they had like a stripped down version of 
Jay Uso's theme song, right? And then Wayne rapped on top of that. Like he's got this song called I'm Me, right? Where he just talks about how great he is. And I'm just like, yeah, take that that verse, put it over that intro, and then let Jay Uso come out. And I'm just like, yeah. Or take a very popular song that you have out already, you right. know, repurpose the lyrics for Jay Uso on the Jay Uso theme and then have it like there was a way to do that to make that really sing and they That's what I'm saying and they yeah. literally just because all that whole situation was an afterthought. Yeah. And yeah. somebody it, at WWE was like, you know what? Is Lil Wayne available to show up? <laughs> <laughs> right. That was very strange. It was it that that whole what was he doing? Mm, you know? Yeah. And then Lil Wayne was like, yeah, I go. Next match was uh, the six-woman tag match, Damage Control versus Naomi, Bianca Belair, and Jade Cargill. And we very clearly got this one right. Like, clearly. They, clearly. If, if they had lost that match, we would have just, nobody would have been mad. We would have just been confused. Like, very confused. It's yeah. like, Destiny's Child are survivors. They don't give up. They yeah. don't they stop. They're going to work harder. Okay. Yep. And and I will say that Jade may need to work a little bit harder. I mean, I love her. She's great. She looks amazing. But I really wanted her to do more. Like, I wanted her to have a first match, yeah. not a second exhibition or a part two of the Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. I just did not want that to happen. And that's exactly what they did. Yeah, they, they literally that just had her. been... They, they underuse damage control that has amazing high flying skill, mm -hmm. you know, and. <sighs> yeah, the, the worst thing about that match was that the entire match was like seven minutes. Like yeah, it, it was, was like two seconds long. Yeah, like and it was like they, they, they had like feet up. Mm -hmm. Now to go out there and show your strength and show people because you're clearly our more dominant female, mm -hmm. you know, on the roster right now. And Jade's brand new, and we're still not confident in her wrestling skills. That's what that tells me. Yeah, the, I, my my concern for Jade Cargill, and we we've talked about this a, a bit off 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 the air, is. It, it looks like they're going to make her a female Goldberg where she's like this super strong powerhouse. She wrecks through the competition. But Goldberg, much like John Cena and Brock Lesnar, only has like six, seven moves. Yeah. And out the gate, I've seen Jay Cargill wrestle in the WWE twice. And I've seen all her move sets. Like, I've seen that same move set. Yeah. Every, every time. You send her in. She does her finishers. She walks out. Trash. Maybe, you know what, I'm gonna trust the process. The next match that, <laughs> that I got wrong was the Intercontinental Championship match between uh, Gunta and the new Intercontinental Champion, the, the people's champ, I would argue, Sami Zayn. Yes, they gave it to Sami. They did, they gave, they put awesome. Sami. For the second WrestleMania in a row, Sami Zayn walked out with a champion championship bill and, and that's awesome that good has a great ability to tell a story and get people involved in it <laughs> they brought his kid out his wife yeah. i was like oh this is so cheesy but when yeah. he won i was like oh! yeah no it was it was great that the Sami Zayn gunther match may have been my favorite match of the of all of wrestlemania it was definitely my favorite match of night one i yeah. thought they did a, a fantastic job Sami Zayn. Uh, is such a great storyteller. Gunther is great in the ring, and it was just such a feel-good moment to see Sam. Like it looked like Sami Zayn was really about to cry when he won oh, the Intercontinental yeah. Belt, and oh, I'm like, so great. He's, you know, from from him talking to his wife, you can do it. And this kid, like, drop the music, and they're like, yeah. they drop it soon. And then he walks. He takes this long walk up the uh -huh. ramp. You know what I mean? And then. Yeah. The dude is there. I always forget his name, but he's like, "You could do it on your own." And then you know, and then he walked. Oh, yeah. up or Kevin Owens. Yeah, Kevin he Owens. Yeah. There. Oh, at the yeah. top. And it was a really good. It was really good. Can Can we take a moment and acknowledge the fact that Sami Zayn's wife's name is Khadijah? Right. Yes. Is a white lady named Khadijah. Oh. I was like, man, how many job applications did she get thrown in the trash? <laughs> <laughs> Man, let me tell you something. Cue the living single reference. <laughs> and and the main event for uh, night one 
was the bloodline represented by the final boss, The Rock, and the tribal chief, Roman Reigns, versus Cody Rhodes and Seth freaking Rollins. Yeah, yeah. And I I was wrong about, I, I thought that Cody and Seth were going to win this match. At least I think that's what I predicted. I, I felt like I was pretty sure. I, I thought what was going to happen was Roman was going to end up spearing the rock. Which he um, did. No impact. Which, no which he did. And then I thought that that was going to create dissent between the two of them and then force the rock. And then the rock would, would uh, 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 cost Roman the belt. And I think, that was, I think that's really cool that they they may have seen where they thought people were going to go and uh-huh. made a conscious effort to not go that route because yeah. I think in the grand scheme of things we all thought that The Rock was going to be the reason why Cody Rhodes actually won the belt and he was not so uh, yeah. you know I love that storytelling aspect they really took the time that they needed man to say they only had some months to put this whole thing together this was and to pivot this ended up being an incredible incredible story but yeah, i did know that they were gonna win night one just because you, you have to have bloodline rules the next you night did. because that's where the banger that's the grand finale and you can't have a grand finale if everything is equal you know yeah. what i mean if it's, you, you know so you i call, wanted the chaos she called it listen i like like make sure make sure you go full screen on me saying this okay she called it, all right? She said it was going to play out like this, and she did. So, yeah. Just, so, live action animation, you know, okay. She's the WrestleMania whisperer, okay? <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> all right. And I will say, solid match. I did enjoy The Rock. I thought he looked pretty good to say he hadn't been in the ring in eight to ten years. Mm-hmm. Um you know, he didn't do as much, but I, I I expected him not to do as much. But I also thought he did a little bit more. He did take bumps that I thought he may have may not have taken. Mm-hmm. You know, um, it was good that he incorporated Mama Rhodes and in certain ways and stuff like that. So keeping that heel, he did a good job. Uh, the rock bottom through the table, amazing. The double pin that I thought they were gonna get. You know, with both doing the. Um, Triple H move. I, it, oh yeah, the pedigree. Yeah, when they did the double pedigree. pedigree yeah, uh, that was amazing. Uh, yes, I did say Roman Spear the Rock, but it had no effect on the storyline at all. So yeah. that that was odd. Um, and I loved Cody's mom. Shout out to Mama Rhodes. She was in yeah. that boy. She was like, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, 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 I love the Rock talking shit to her and then her cursing him out. <laughs> yeah. I was like, get the top yo sh-. I love yeah. it. That, that was dope. I, I, I also enjoyed watching The Rock bully the referees into yeah. doing what he wanted. I thought classic. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. You know, very WWE. very quality heel stuff to watch yeah. him just be like, yeah, if you count like if if you do this you are fired if you count him out you will fight you will lose your job and then the referee looking at cody rose like i'm listen hey man i need my job okay i'm sorry but listen he's my he's my you know he's my boss yeah i think he may have hit seth in like the nuts or whatever and then Uh like i'm sorry yeah 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 i thought that was that was dope stuff Let's go ahead and click to night two. Night two. Okay. Night two. Uh, uh, we opened with uh, Drew McIntyre defeating Seth freaking Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, a match that we both predicted would happen. We both predicted yeah. Drew McIntyre would would uh, 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 would interf- uh, would win the match. And uh, I was wrong about CM Punk interfering in the match. And that was going to be the reason that Drew McIntyre won. You know, I was also wrong about when Damian Priest would cash in the money in the bank. But I was right that Damian Priest cash. Listen, <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. The, uh, Drew McIntyre versus Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship was my favorite match of WrestleMania. That nice. was my favorite match. I thought, wow. like, they when the, the match starts, they had the big entrances, mm-hmm. uh, and then seconds into like ding 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 claymore right out the <laughs> gate <Yeah. laughs> 
I loved it. And then threw him outside the ring, and he did like the the overhead uh, 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 suplex that he likes to do. Oh my! It was just like they didn't waste a single second of the. They they only fought for ten minutes, but they did not waste a single second. Drew McIntyre, Seth Rollins put on a show. On a show. C- CM Punk Seth is clearly hurt. Clearly. Very clearly, yeah. He's 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 busted up and banged up, and it wasn't. It wasn't. At first, I was like, "Oh man, he's joking," and I was like, "Wait, I don't. I no. think he's really hurt." No, he's he's definitely he's really hurt. hurt. Now, I think he's been really hurt for a while now, and mm-hmm. and him not having a belt is gonna give him some much needed time off to kind of like re- recoup his, uh, recuperate his body, you know. Yeah. Re- uh, and once he comes back. <sighs> Jeez, please! Like Seth Rollins, a healthy Seth Rollins coming back to fight CM Punk. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be a great run. No, it was. I, I was so pleased with the match. Like the part there, there's a, a part in there's a sequence where Seth Rollins uh, hits uh, uh, Drew McIntyre with a, a suplex, followed by like a, a curve stomp, followed by a pedigree. Like he hit someone like three big moves back to back and pin. Like it was. Like that that man is a worker in the ring, okay? Like like he's the pride of Davenport, Iowa. He is the, the man. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Um thought it yeah, was a great I, match, thought they brought the energy, brought they set the tone for night two. Like this is gonna be an intense, crazy night two. Drew had to go over there and say some stuff to Punk. Punk got I'm glad that Punk got him a little bit of action in WrestleMania. I know he probably felt sick that he wasn't doing anything for WrestleMania necessarily, but it was good to see him get just a little bit of action in. And then for Damian Priest to come in, I was like, <laughs> Yes. That was, I was the, like, no, Drew. But, that, you know. That was the best. What, what made it great was watching him win the belt, then go talk trash to CM Punk. And then get assaulted by CM Punk for Damian Priest to come out there and cash in and win the be- oh, and then that- and then the close up on CM Punk like oh <laughs> oh no watching Damian Priest celebrate with the rest of Judgment Day awesome. like Rhea Ripley and Finn Balor look so happy yeah. in that moment like yeah. just like like drop the kayfabe for a second yeah. and. They just like the happiness was all on their face, and it was dude. What a what a great moment! He is the first Puerto Rican to win that title in fifty years. Wow, I didn't know. I had fifty years. So that was a history making moment right there, and it was it was awesome. Yeah. Uh, The next match we had was the Pride versus uh, Mm -hmm. the Final Testament. There's another one I got wrong. I, I definitely match. It was. I, I hate that it was so short, though. Hey. I hate that it was. It was. A, it was an eight-minute match. And the only thing that I really didn't like about that match was Snoop Dogg on commentary. <laughs> <laughs> Snoop, Snoop on commentary was oh, horrible. Oh no, didn't she see that thing there? Like, she, <laughs> oh, oh, oh man, oh boy, you gonna let him do you like that, oh boy? <laughs> oh Lord, they went through a table. It's like, <laughs> this is not the Olympics, which is coming up, so we're gonna see a lot of Snoop this summer. But oh, my goodness, yeah, there was a there was there was a, there was a part in there where he said, and I remember hearing this like like in real time, and then I rewatched everything this morning. And there was a part where, like, the, uh, uh, where they, uh, uh, where uh, Final Testament starts pulling out tables, and Snoop is like, "Oh, they pulled out a picnic table," and then he makes like a like some Yogi Bear joke or something. He's like, "Oh man, well get the picnic basket, boo boo," and it was just what? And then like, and, and, and then like, uh, 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 Pat McAfee kind of like leaned into it and tried to like like kind of add to it too. Like, no, bro, don't. Don't 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 help him right now, okay? Like let like let, let like let like he said it. Let it sit out there. Let's all marinate in the fact that you said something that was lame as hell. But the next match um, that we both predicted was L.A. Knight versus AJ. I'm sorry, AJ Styles about the man that everybody is talking about. L.A. Knight, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. Um, this actually was it could have been a candidate for me for a uh, 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 match of the night, right? I they uh, once again another match. They didn't waste a minute. They got yeah. right to it. They mm -hmm. put on a great show. La Knight is great in the ring. AJ Styles. They call him phenomenal for a reason. For a reason. He's and so good. Man, and they just put on a clinic of a just solid like. You want to know what professional wrestling is? You want to know how to do it? Yeah. It. Like, yeah. And they gave it their all and they left it all there in LA night. Yeah. Yeah. No. Which brings us to the next match. <laughs> one, one of the few that I got right that you got wrong. We should we should cut it right here. And <laughs> to the next match. Kevin Owens versus Randy Orton versus Logan Paul in the Triple yeah, Threat yeah, yeah. United States Champion. Look, I called this, and this is also another one of those matches that could be a candidate for a uh, uh, match of the night for me. They they put on a fantastic match. What I love about it was they found a way to keep the storyline going during the match. So you could see that Kevin Owens and Randy Orton are like, "Hey, we're friends. We're, we're kayfabe friends." And I don't want to hurt you and you don't want to hurt me. But at the end of the day, one of us got to win this belt. So we got to fight each other. Right. And that played it. But their desire to win the belt was not as strong as their desire to beat the hell out of Logan Paul. Yeah. Well, there you go. Well, let's move on to the next match. The WWE Women's Championship match. Uh, Io Sky versus Bailey. We both got every. We got this. Of course, yeah. yeah. Bailey, Bailey for the win, man. Bailey yeah. for the win. Solid match, uh, you know. It has its moments where, you know, maybe they were a little tight, a little, you know, excited. You could tell like both of their energies was like, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, uh -huh. Uh -huh. but yeah, no, I, I enjoyed it. The, the last five minutes of that match was fantastic. Like mm -hmm. the last four or five minutes of that match where like they're, they're, they're reversing and countering each other's movesets yeah. and stuff. That yeah. part was like, but up until that point, like it started a little flat for me. Like I wasn't a fan yeah. of of just the way it started. Like the first like ten minutes of the match, I it was all throwaway stuff. And, and then, then like that last kind of like of all the grand entrances that they had the entire weekend, mm -hmm. I just their entrances were nothing. Yeah, ba I Bailey's a little bit with Bailey, but that that whole like the the Egyptian pyramids and then the guys carrying her out get to do their entrances and was like oh shit, we got bailey <laughs> now. I, ah no but, you know what i mean like what what but like i i want to say i liked bailey's uh uh ring attire like her her walkout oh, ring attire yeah. like she had like the 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 egyptian like the scarab <laughs> wings but then they were crooked they were crooked. the whole time <laughs> and, <laughs> and the, it was <laughs> the whole time they were doing that thing i was just, uh, just Fix yeah. I yeah. just wanted them to so fix it that. Was, it was it just seemed a little lackluster for me. So I was just kinda of, that was random. For sure. And the final match of the night. Finally! Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, versus the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. Bloodline rules for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Yes. Cody Rhodes finishes his story. This was the match of the night for me. I love the ending, uh -huh. the, the completion to the story. Yeah, and you know the heartbreak of of an of an ending of an era, uh, but very well put together. They really did a good job. Kudo again. I'll say again. Thank you so much, Roman, for what you did. It was great uh, to have a person of color carry the company on his back for so many years is amazing and uh what you did in the ring was great him and cody i love the fact that they let them wrestle yeah for yeah. the first half to three quarters of mm -hmm. the match no they 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 put on a great match like it was just the the the, the, the yeah. roman reigns is not one of those champions with six moves he's got a he's yeah. got a lot of tools yeah. in his too like at one point he hit uh uh cody rose with the perfect plex and then was like yeah of course it didn't work it sucks that move sucks. <laughs> <laughs> but i will say you know like um man i forgot what i was gonna say it was a good point too they, that's what it was. They let them wrestle so long that I thought nobody else was going to come out. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, I knew that they had to come out, but I was like, man, they're are they just not going to? 
this is not gonna bring anybody out. That what 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 a twist, huh? Yeah, yeah. Cody Cody Rhodes uh, hitting Roman with the spear. Roman hitting Cody with the crossroads. Um, yeah. Multiple false finishes um, so and a lot of great reversals. Uh, when the bloodline comes out, you know, like Jimmy. First off, I, when Jimmy uh, Uso pops up into the ring with the super kick on Cody Rhodes, it was so it was such great camera work because you don't see him coming at all, and and you don't hear the crowd react to it. Like normally, like when you when somebody's off camera, you'll at least hear the crowd start buzzing. So you're like, oh, something's happening that we don't see, and then it happens. There, there was no crowd reaction. It was just all of a sudden Jimmy Uso was in the ring, super kick uh, Cody's head off, and out it was nowhere. It was so good. And then Jimmy come, uh, Jay Uso coming out, spearing Jay. I mean, spe Jay uh, Uso spearing Jimmy off the uh, the ramp onto the tables. Oh, I was like, oh, they've died. Yeah, they, yeah, they did. They, 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 those guys are dead now. Okay, all right, well, that is. They're both having back surgery tomorrow. So <laughs> coming in, and we hadn't seen him the entire WrestleMania, so to see him pop up out of nowhere, that was cool to see him. Seeing oh, him. and Solo, wait, oh. wait, so, Solo yelling at, at Roman Reigns to finish him. And he was right? like, I know. I know, like, I know. I know. Shut, shut up. What do, you, what do you think I'm doing here? <laughs> but when John Cena's music hits, you know, uh, yeah. and, and and explosive, right? John Cena comes back mm -hmm. significantly smaller than he used to be, and he's just bashing Solo and puts him through the after he hits Roman with the fu. The Rock, the final boss comes out. Now hit him with the rock bottom. Uh, and then everybody's thinking the, the glass is gonna break, but the lights go out and you hear the oh, I was screaming. If I would have been on a live, it would have been embarrassing. Okay, I would have yeah. gone viral because I was literally screaming. Uh, <laughs> I was so excited, you know. Yeah, I, I listen. The Undertaker popping out, choking the choke slamming the Rock, um, and then that way, and then and then this like he pops in the ring, does his move, and then the lights go back out. He's gone again, and it's just is also gone. Yeah, and then, and then the ring is Everybody empty. So gone. now it's just Cody and 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 the and and Roman in the ring alone. They finish the match, and, they, and it's he a great finish three, to it. He hits yeah. one crossroad, boom. Two crossroads, boom. Uh -huh. Gets him up shaky for the three. Bow and hits him for the one. Oh man. And then as they and then as the as and then and then the, the, the build they blow the roof off the building. I mean there's no roof, it's open, but you know, you blow the roof off the building, and then the best part of the match is listening to Samantha Irvin's voice cracking oh. while she's saying Why oh she, my god she's like and, and the winner and new WWE champion <laughs> and the new it's that is so amazing because she is a wrestling fan and yeah. she you know and she's just like all of us <laughs> right yeah. wow what an amazing weekend mm -hmm. great job i'm excited to now i want to keep keep moving forward with the wrestling see where we go for the next year and see how we're going to get to roman and the rock for wrestlemania 41 because clearly we need that um, we still need that and we get the rock but um yeah man how did you feel about WrestleMania weekend? Did you get a lot of yours right or did you get them wrong? Let, let us let know us... in the comments how well you did. Like what, you know, I got all but two, I think. Yeah, I, I did about about 50-50. I, I don't I don't have to go back and look at like 60-40. I did, oh, I'm not as not I, as accurate as live oh, action. I did 90% and you did 20% trying to play me. You know what I'm saying? You the one that I, I don't remember I don't remember playing you on that. I, I don't even remember I don't have any memory of that. Don't worry, cue the clip. I, I feel yeah. like I feel like 90% of mine are gonna be accurate. I think like 20% of yours. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> all right, I'm gonna yeah. have to go delete so some files all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, let us know in the comments below. We hope you had a good time. We'll see you guys next time. Later.